Hello YouTube and welcome to part one of the mini wind turbine project. I received this from Belgrade Machine about the end of winter. I want to tip this up here and disturb anything too much. This has bearings on this the shaft. We've got a pipe that's kind of like a rain cap protective. Uh, that is a little stepper motor. It has four red leads coming out and a ground. It is AC voltage coming out. I have four diodes. I got a little bag of parts here. There's four diodes in that little lot of little packages, a little circuit board I'll have some pictures of. Uh, to convert it to DC. Okay. And we did change the plate on here. This one seemed to match up better to get the three screws in. And here's the blade I'll be using. Three of them. He makes all this stuff. This is one of his uh, mini ones. I'll try to put a link to his channel or a video of one similar to this that he has done. So we'll try to do that or we'll at least just type the name of his channel and I have trouble putting links. Let's see if we can get this and get the glare off it. Up to about 10 volts. We're going to be using this to recharge AA batteries, probably starting out with just maybe four. So we have to learn all that, how to do that. Uh, i sure I remember uh, how to hook it up. I'm probably going to need some help with that. I know I have four diodes and put one on each red wire, which is for DC. Then This little part right here, which I'll have pictures of. I should have had this ready. Hope this ain't a static protective bag because I've had it out here several times. I don't know if this will focus. It has an in and out. And let's see. Yep. In on the left, positive negative, out positive negative. Uh, you've got like a voltage regulator final on there. Uh, trimmer, adjust. Couple capacitors, surface mount resistors, and this looks like a small full wave bridge rectifier. Which, what diodes do is they just let the current flow one way, so the AC comes in, only DC comes out. So, I have the basic knowledge. I've worked on some radios and CB radios over the years, but I haven't done it for a while, so kind of rusty on that. But I've tested each wire, they all put out voltage we're on the AC side this is my free Harbor Freight meter and I'm gonna have a coupon to get another one so hope to get another one because I want to have one of these in line all the time I want to make a board to mount all this stuff on and I will pause and show you a piece of plexiglass I'm going to use if I make a circuit board okay I want to show this uh, I made this opaque it was all scratched this came off a uh, like a Dremel kit uh, stuff like get it harbor freight and all I did was sand this direction then flip it over and then still sand this direction then flip it this way and sand and then around again so it's been sanded four times but that'll make a nice little piece it's a little over 16th inch thick if you want to make a little circuit board to mount stuff on you can drill your holes make your template out of paper then you can put it on there and mark your holes uh, I have a little carbide like that you can poke through. Do it all in pencil. If you draw on this stuff, just draw it with pencil, erase or sand off. Don't use marker on it. And works handy for small projects. I've done that before for small stuff. So we got plenty of materials. We do have a cabinet full of all kinds of parts and everything, resistors and stuff. So we have a lot of electronic junk stored away. But don't want to make this too long. It's just going to be the first part here. Maybe three bolts holding that on. They only go on one way. I can figure that out because of the curve. I can't get that wrong. And I'm assuming 
uh, the curve of this blade, it will be spinning the wind this way. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. This is all new to me. So, any help with uh, anybody out there that does this stuff will be greatly appreciated. And thanks for watching.